What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Kangaroo Black, coming back once again, talking SEC football, mainly SEC scheduling, heading into the 2024 season. You know, as fans, we like to talk about teams other than ours having cupcake schedules. But with the SEC doing away with divisions and adding Texas and Oklahoma, do any, do any SEC teams have cupcake schedules? And we're going to talk about it. You know, I already told you who I think got the easiest schedule in the SEC, which is Ole Miss, in my opinion. And as you know, I'm always reading and looking for something to talk about as far as SEC football. And I found this article talking about, you know, uh, SEC scheduling. And the title of it is the uh, 2024 SEC football schedule breakdown. Did the usual suspects again get a free ride? For years, the SEC has played favorites with scheduling. Will the addition of Oklahoma and Texas see that trend continue? And I think it will because, like I said, I think Ole Miss got the easiest schedule, even though in the past they haven't had the easiest of schedules. But we're going to talk about it, and uh, I'm going to try to – Try not to make this too long. Uh, I'm not going to talk about Kentucky, Vandy, Mississippi State, South Carolina, and Texas A&M. I don't think they pose no threat to nobody in the SEC, but I do think Texas A&M is the best team out of those, you know, five teams, but they still bottom of the barrel. You know, maybe their new head coach can get them going in the right direction because uh, Jimbo, Jimbo Fisher, he had them as the laughing stock of the SEC alone with the Florida Gators. <laughs> I'm going to just put it that way. But let's go ahead and get into it. And since I already mentioned Ole Miss, I'm going to start out with them. And, yes, Ole Miss has a very easy schedule. And like I say, in my opinion, the easiest schedule in the SEC. All right. Uh, they tied with LSU for the fewest number of opponents uh, coming off a of bowl season. All right, uh, they got they play Oklahoma and Georgia, but they play them at home, and get and I think they're gonna lose to Georgia at home. I think they're gonna be matter of fact. I think they're gonna beat Oklahoma. I'm gonna just put it that way. I believe Ole Miss will beat Oklahoma at at home, and they'll lose to Georgia at home. They don't play Alabama or Auburn, and I'm sure they're glad they don't play Alabama, considering Alabama beat beat the brakes off them year after year after year. But anyway, uh, as far as they are uh, uh, road games, they got a pretty easy road schedule too against Wake Forest, South Carolina, LSU, and Arkansas. LSU is the only opponent that I think got a chance of beating Ole Miss, and I even think Ole Miss going to beat them in Baton Rouge. That's just me. Uh, they got <laughs> they got uh, two teams that comes off buys. Um, one of them is Arkansas, and the other one is LSU. So LSU will be coming off a bye before they play Ole Miss, all right, at home. So, hey, it is what it is. But um, I think possibly they can win that game, all right. Um, They're going to beat the hell out of South Carolina. That's a given. But uh, if Lane Kiffin, he want to continue and build on what he did last season, this is the year to do it. Because to me, they got the easiest schedule in the SEC. Now let's move on to LSU. Like I said, they they tied with Ole Miss, you know, uh, for the fewest number of opponents coming off a uh, uh, bowl season. I'll just uh, put it that way. Um, LSU, they get Alabama at home, and both teams will be coming off a of bye week as usual. That's how it always been with LSU and uh, Alabama. But I expect Alabama to go down to Baton Rouge and beat the hell out of LSU. That's just what I expect, and I think that's what's going to happen. Uh, they usually play tough games, but I think Alabama going to pretty much put it on them this time. But anyway, uh, 
But uh, they roll games. You know, they got South Carolina, Texas A&M, Arkansas, and Florida on the road. And I think they can win all four of those games, LSU. The only team that I think can possibly give them a chance, I mean, a, 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 a dang on some competition, Texas A&M. And I don't even think Texas A&M will beat LSU. All right. Uh, they'll have th three opponents coming off a of bye week. All right. Uh, Arkansas. Arkansas will be coming off a of bye week. Vandy will be coming off a of bye week. And Alabama will be coming off the bye week. And you know they're going to beat Arkansas. They're going to beat Vandy. So, <laughs> hey, it is what it is. And they're going to lose to my Alabama Crimson Tide at home. So, like this article say, there's no excuse for LSU to have nine or ten wins this season. No excuse for them not to with the, with the schedule that they have. So, hey, LSU, you should be pretty good this season. Uh Maybe you are even making it in the playoff. Who fucking knows? But let's move on to these Auburn Tigers. And all right, as far as Hugh Freeze, he might be on the hot seat this season. If, L if, if, if Auburn can't win at least, I'm going to say, eight games, Hugh Freeze is going to be on the damn hot seat. And you know Auburn is quick to fire people. All right? And like the article said, if Auburn – can't win eight games with this schedule, then Hugh Freeze is every bit of the whack that we suspect he is. And I think he is. And I'll continue to say the only thing Hugh Freeze is known for as far as football is beating Nick Saban back to back. That's the only thing he's known for. All right. And, and soliciting hook. I ain't going to say hookers. Soliciting escorts. Allegedly. I think that's what he, the only thing he those two things is the only things that he is known for as far as college football because he ain't never won anything of any significance in his whole college football coaching career. But anyway, uh, Auburn they face zero opponents coming off a, a bye week. Just five of their eight SEC games are against quality opponents. They don't play LSU nor Ole Miss. <laughs> All right. Uh, they do play Georgia and Alabama. They two long-time rivals, and they're going to lose both of those games. All right. They play Oklahoma at home, and I believe in Jordan Hare. They're going to lose that game. All right. Um, they got uh, three road games. Well, three tough road games, but they got four road games. Georgia, Missouri, Kentucky, and Alabama, and they're going to lose three of them. Georgia, Missouri, and Alabama. All right. They might beat Kentucky, but there's a good chance Kentucky can beat them. And I'm going to get 50-50 for both of them. All right? And uh, Missouri, I'm giving Missouri 70% chance of beating them. Georgia and Alabama, they definitely going to lose. Okay? Athens and uh, Brian Denny. But anyway, uh, like I say, the Kentucky game is a, is a toss-up, but it's losable. But anyway, uh, it says their four non-conference uh, games should be four wins for the Tigers, and God help them if they're not nine and three, eight and four. Should uh, nine and three should be nine and three, eight and four should be the ceiling, but six and six is the floor, and I'm leaning more toward the six and six. I don't believe, I don't believe I will get six wins this season, just like they did last season. So hey. But they got four pretty easy non-conference games. So, hey, they, they just might. We'll see what happens. But uh, no playoffs for Auburn. Hugh Freeze's job. Hugh Freeze is going to be on the hot seat. Watch what I tell you. Moving on. Arkansas. Don't know why Arkansas continued to hold on to Sam Pittman. I don't, I don't understand it. Uh, this article, had, uh, Arkansas has the hardest schedule based on are returning bowl teams with seven of the eight being uh, winning teams. Seven of the eight teams they play in the SEC was winning teams, had a winning record last season. Three of the four road, road games are just nasty as hell. At Texas A&M, at Mizzou, at Auburn. I mean, Mizzou's going to beat the hell out of them. Auburn and the Aggies, that don't seem too much to me. 
But anyway, uh, did I mean? Did I mention that Tennessee, Texas, and LSU all come into town? <laughs> so right there, those three teams right there, that's three home losses, Tennessee, Texas, and LSU. All right? It says, for good measure, the SEC threw, <laughs> threw in uh, Texas A&M and Auburn back-to-back -back road trips. <laughs> Damn. So, yeah, they got those road trips, but two of them is back-to-back. -back. Uh, Missouri. And uh, Auburn. Anyway, it says there is no way Arkansas, this Arkansas squad is making a bowl this year, especially since even UAB is a losable game for the Hogs. <laughs> oh shit, man. Anyway, Arkansas will be will be coach shopping by Thanksgiving. And I believe it. I thought that they would have got rid of Sam Pittman last season, but hey, they decided to keep him. But uh who knows? Arkansas, no, they will not be a bold team uh, this year. It's terrible. Plus, they lost K.J. Jefferson. So, hey, sorry, Arkansas is going to be a long season for you. All right, Billy Napier. Like I say, uh, what's his name? Hugh Freeze, he going to be on the hot seat. Sam Pittman going to be on the hot seat. And Billy Napier going to be on the hot seat. All of them going to be sitting right beside each other. And as this article says, Billy Napier is very likely going to be joining Sam Pittman on the unemployment line. All right. Now, Florida faces the most quality opponents in the SEC. Seven out of the eight teams in the SEC. Uh, it might be pretty rough for them. Anyway, uh, on the road, they got three automatic road losses. Texas, Tennessee, and Georgia. They're going to lose all, all three of those road games. All right. And then they're going to lose to Ole Miss and LSU at home. That's five losses already. Plus, they got Texas A&M at home. Hell, they might not even beat Texas A&M. So, that'll be six losses right there. Then, uh, also, uh, out of conference, they got Florida State. They're going to lose. They got Florida State on the road. They got Miami at home. That's two possible losses right there. Then, they got UCF. Hell, UCF can beat, beat Florida. I have no doubt about it. So they capable of, of doing it. I'm telling you, Florida might not even be 500 this year, and it's gonna. Billy Napier will be gone. I'm saying by the middle of uh, what's this? October, if not before. The middle of October, Billy Napier will be on the unemployment line. But anyway, so hey, sorry, Florida. It is what it is. Moving on, these Tennessee. Volunteers. All right. Uh, via this article, Tennessee was gifted a schedule from the guards in 2022. Got another one in 2024. The Vols are tied for the fewest teams with winning records on the schedule. So they tied with, they tied with, I think, Missouri for the fewest teams coming off a winning season. Mm, mm, mm. Not good. Anyway, they don't face a single team coming off a of bye week. They have no back-to-back -back road trips. Trips, you know about. It says uh, half of their heavy lifting is at home, including three traditional rivals: Alabama, Florida, and uh, Kentucky. All come to Neyland Stadium. Now, Alabama gonna whoop their ass in Neyland Stadium, and Tennessee gonna beat the hell out of Florida and Kentucky. That's what I think. Okay, so. Get ready for your ass whooping uh, in Neyland Stadium against my Alabama Crimson Tide, Mr. Tennessee Volunteer. Uh, Tennessee season comes down to really, I'm going to say three games. This article says two, but I'm saying three. Alabama at home, uh, Oklahoma uh, uh, on the road, and uh, Georgia on the road. That's what I'm I'm saying. That's what they season come down to. So hey, it is what it would is what it is. And they got a for sure loss in them to my Alabama Crimson Tide. Anyway, so hey, Tennessee, three you got a three game schedule. The rest of them, I got the utmost confidence that y'all will win. The other the other nine. So if you win one of these games. Alabama, Oklahoma, and Georgia, you'll have a 10-win season. Most definitely. 
But anyway, moving on to Missouri. Uh, Missouri coming off the, one of the best seasons they done had in their damn lifetime. A 11-win season, a top 10 finish. Mm, 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 mm. And via this article, the SEC, it seems, has no intention of allowing the Tigers to lose that momentum. Uh, Missouri faced the fewest number of teams with winning, coming off winning records. Like I say, Mizzou and, and Tennessee is tied. All right? Anyway, the Tigers have just two tough road games, and one of them at Texas A&M is a toss-up. And then the trip to Tuscaloosa, that's an ass-whooping, plain and simple. So though, And I, I think Mizzou going to beat Texas A&M. I think Texas A&M will give them a little bit of competition, but Mizzou going to end up winning that game. But anyway, from Missouri, you ain't got a chance in hell against my Alabama Crimson Tide. Tell you that right now. But anyway, um, but the article does say that Missouri is facing Alabama in a transition period. I don't give a damn. You ain't got the talent that my Alabama Crystal Tide got. You just don't. You don't have the mindset that my Alabama Crimson Tide got. So, hey, it is what it is. You're going to get your ass for it. But anyway, uh, what else does it say? Uh, Mizzou does face two foes coming off buys. All right. Mississippi State and Auburn. I think Missouri going to beat both those teams. I really do. I don't know how good Auburn going to be, but Auburn don't have a lick of a quarterback, in my opinion. He can run like hell. They, they like to spread the field. And he can pick up yards. But as far as coming out the winner, I don't think they can beat Missouri. All right, that, that's just me. Anyway, uh, Missouri also played Oklahoma. Uh, I think that's a loss. They play Oklahoma uh, coming off a of bye week. They'll be, Missouri will be rested. But I think, I don't know, Oklahoma and Missouri, that's a hard game to call to me. Now, I think Oklahoma going to beat them. But also, I'm keeping in mind that Oklahoma don't have Dylan Gabriel no more. And Mizzou bringing back Brady Cook, even though I don't think Brady Cook is that good of a quarterback. I'm picking Oklahoma to win this game. Now. I'm picking Oklahoma to beat Mizzou because I just simply think last season for Missouri was a one-off. They're going to go back to being what they always have been. That's just my opinion. But anyway, uh, hmm says this is easily one of the best schedules in a brutal league. Anything fewer than nine or ten wins uh, would be a severe letdown for Missouri. I don't think they're going to get the ten wins. That's just my opinion. They're going to lose to Alabama. I think possibly lose to uh, uh, Oklahoma, which I'm I'm leaning toward Oklahoma on that. So, yeah. No, no, I don't think they're going to get the ten wins. That's just me. But anyway, moving on. Oklahoma. Oklahoma, Oklahoma has the second most rested opponents. Only Alabama has more. So Alabama played the most teams coming off a of bye week, and Oklahoma is coming in second. All right, and so anyway, uh, Alabama—I mean not Alabama, but Oklahoma—played at Ole Miss. They take, play Texas in Dallas, and then they play at Missouri. Mm, three tough games, you know. Uh, I think Texas is going to beat them. I think Ole Miss going to beat Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma. Mizzou, Mizzou, that's a tough one to call. Anyway, but it is what it is. But out of o, uh, Ole Miss, Texas, and Missouri, last season they combined for a 34-6 and six record. So those are very formidable opponents that Oklahoma will be facing. Anyway, in uh oh well, anyway, Oklahoma is also tied for the most opponents with winning records coming coming off last season. Now this is within the SEC. Now I ain't talking about their non conference con non conference schedule. Anyway, it says the road schedule is devastating. Auburn, Mizzou. Texas, Ole Miss, 
and LSU. I think they're going to beat Auburn. But the other ones, Mizzou is a toss-up. Texas, Ole Miss, and I think LSU is a toss-up. Those are all can be all great games, especially Texas, Ole Miss, LSU, shit, and Mizzou. But I got them beating Auburn. Uh, then they got South Carolina coming to, to Oklahoma. I think they're going to beat the hell out of South Carolina. Alabama and Tennessee also goes to Oklahoma. I think that's going to be two losses for Oklahoma. That's just me. So, hey, I'm just, I'm just giving you my opinion. <laughs> it says, uh, their final three games may feature the hardest wrap-up of anyone in the league. Uh, Missouri, Alabama at home. Well, at Missouri, Alabama at home, and at LSU. Death Valley, Brian Denny. Well, they don't come to Brian Denny. We, we go to them, Norman, Oklahoma. But they got to play uh, at at uh, Death Valley, Baton Rouge. So that might be pretty tough. Alabama coming to them, that's going to be tough anyway, no matter where you play my Crimson Tide at. And I fully expect my Alabama Crimson Tide to go into Norman, Oklahoma and handle business and come out of there with a double-digit win. That's just me. So, hey. It is what it is. It says Oklahoma could be a pretty good team this year and not even make a bowl game. No, they pretty good. All right, they'll, get, they'll make a bowl game. Now, come on, man. You only got to be 6-6 six and six to make a bowl game. I don't think that changed. So, hey, it is what it is. And then we come into the moving on to the Georgia Bulldogs. Now, Georgia Bulldogs, I just mentioned how many other teams talking to the Georgia Bulldogs fans. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. I just mentioned, uh, yeah, eight. Eight other teams, okay? Uh, but as in, Georgia, in true Georgia fan style, they will take only what I said about Georgia and ride with it and act like Georgia is the only team that I talked about on this whole video. They'll come in and the comments with some shit. Oh, all you talk about is Georgia. You love talking about Georgia. Alabama fans love talking about Georgia. When you, I done talked about eight other teams, and I got, what, two more after y'all. So, hey, it is what it is. But anyway, talking about Georgia, the article is saying what everybody has been saying outside of the Georgia fan base for years about their scheduling. All right. Georgia, Georgia, on here, this the article, Georgia finally faces a schedule that constitutes with their rankings. After being shielded by the SEC East for decades, the dogs hit the road to play some quality opponents. Let me read it again. After being shielded by the SEC East for decades, the dogs hit the road to play some quality opponents. Well, the SEC don't exist no more. So, yes, you will be playing some quality opponents this season, probably next season, a year after that. No more cupcakes for you, George Bulldogs. No more cupcakes. No more benefit, benefiting from elementary schedules. I'll just put it that way. But anyway, let's keep it moving. Uh, Georgia got two back-to-back -back road swings at Kentucky, at Alabama. But the good part for them, they got a bye in between those two games. Then they got a they got a road game at Texas and at Ole Miss. And again, they got a bye week between those two games games so that favors them that favors them so how they got how they got the luck or the draw on that one. but anyway uh like i say georgia they face bama texas and old miss on the road that could possibly be three losses i'm gonna just um and i'm be giving you my honest opinion that could possibly be three losses. Do I think that's going to be three automatic wins? No, because you're going to lose against my Alabama Crimson Tide in Bryant Denny Stadium. You're going, you, you, you're going to, to, I believe it's Austin. That's not easy either. Ole Miss, I know you beat Ole Miss last year and you 
Y'all like to talk about that when people bring up that you could possibly lose to Ole Miss. Well, we beat them by this score last season. Well, that was last season. And you was playing at home last season. Okay, but you're not playing at home this time. So we'll just see how that go. But you're going to lose at least one of those games for sure. Possibly a big possibility too. I'm just giving you my opinion. Anyway, uh, like I say, Bama on the road, Texas on the road, Ole Miss on the road, and then uh, I believe they play they they play Kentucky on the road also, as I mentioned. I think they're going to beat the hell out of Kentucky, as usual. They got uh, 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 Florida, neutral site, Jacksonville. They're going to beat the brakes off, off of Florida. Anyway, it is what it is. Then they play Auburn at home, and they play the Vols uh, at home. They're going to beat the hell out of Auburn. And I'm saying Tennessee is a toss-up. That's just me. I know it's in Athens, but it's a toss-up. All right. Anyway, says overall six of their last eight SEC games come against teams that had winning records, records coming off last season. The two without winning records, Mississippi State and Florida, they're going to beat the brakes off of them. And then – they open up the game against Clemson. So it says this is finally an objectively tough schedule. Earn your money, Kirby. Cause yes, Kirby, you've been getting you've been taking the easy road since you've been a head coach. It's been real easy for you. So it's about to get a little rocky. And let's see how you're gonna handle it. And after all the success that the Georgia Bulldogs than had with Kirby Smart, all the easy scheduling, all that coming to an end, and the road is about to get rocky. Let's see how these Georgia fans is going uh, is going to freaking handle it because they got they skin is not very thick. They don't have tough skin. They can't take you. anybody criticizing their beloved Bulldogs. But I'm just giving you the facts. But anyway, moving on next. We got Texas, and these guys that wrote this article is not giving Texas a break. All right. As far as Texas schedule, they say this schedule is a joke, an outright joke. Texas plays just two rested opponents. One is Oklahoma, and the other one is Arkansas. And remember, playing Oklahoma, they're coming off a bye week, just like Oklahoma is coming off a bye week. And then the other one is Arkansas, and they're going to beat the brakes off Arkansas, and I believe they're going to beat Oklahoma this year. I know Oklahoma beat them last year, but I think Texas is going to get them this year. Anyway, only had the schedule, made a bowl game last year, and of those, only Georgia scares you. Yeah, yeah, but I think Texas can beat Georgia, okay? I think this is going to be a – Pretty good game. I think it's going to be a tough game for each one of them. And I think this game is going to come down to the fourth quarter. That's just me. Anyway, uh, uh, let me see who they got. They get they got uh, no back-to-back -back road games. The first true road game is not even until October the 26th. And that's against Vanderbilt. Now, but let's not let's not forget that they do have a road game. They got to go down to Auburn, Michigan, and play those Michigan Wolverines. So, but this, but Vanda is their first true road game, as far as the SEC. So yeah, and that ain't to October. But anyway, uh, so they go the whole month of uh September with no true SEC road game. But anyway. Uh, it says only a season ending clash with Texas A&M keeps this thing from being a ACC schedule. And yeah, they're going to beat the hell out of Texas A&M. I mean, that, that's a rival. So they're going to beat the hell out of them. Anyway, uh, it says, well, the Sooners have a very good argument uh, for it this season. Texans may have the easiest schedule in the SEC that we'll ever see. I'm giving that to Ole Miss, as I mentioned. Texas like in Oklahoma, like I said, I think Texas is going to beat Oklahoma this year. Texas, just like this article say, going to have 10, 11 wins this season. Guaranteed. The only 
real possible losses I can see on Texas schedule is to Georgia and Michigan. Only two. And 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 the Georgia game, that's a toss-up. That is a toss-up. I think Texas can beat Georgia, and I think Georgia can beat Texas. That's a toss-up. But anyway, so yeah, they got this easy schedule. They're going to be beating the hell out of damn teams. Like, like this article said, man, they're going to uh, – they're going to win 10 to 11 games and be absolutely insufferable about doing it. <laughs> Scarcely realizing what an absolute gift landed in their uh, gilded laps. So they they think this schedule is a gift for Texas. But hey, they could possibly have two losses, in my opinion. I don't see no more than two. But anyway, save them the best for last. My Alabama Crimson Tide. Here we go. Welcome to the SEC, Kalen DeBoer. As usual, as usual, Alabama appears to have one, if not the hardest schedule on the menu. It faces the most rested teams. So Alabama is facing the most teams that's coming off a of bye week. 75% of the road schedule is brutal. We've got to go to Neyland Stadium. Uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. We got to go to Norman, Oklahoma. We got to go to Baton Rouge, Death Valley. All right. So that's 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 seventy five percent of our uh, road schedule. And we play. Don't forget, we play. Got to travel to Madison, Wisconsin. Play those Wisconsin Badgers, Luke Fickle. And then the last road game, I'm not counting this against Bandy. I'm not counting that road game. But anyway, but yeah, man. That's a that's that's that, that's pretty tough. Texas, Oklahoma, I mean Tennessee, Oklahoma, LSU, and Wisconsin, all on the road. Anyway, uh, on Alabama schedule, there are just two SEC teams that did not have a winning record last season: Vandy and South Carolina. Both of them are terrible, and Alabama going to beat the brakes off both of them. Uh, what else? Says Alabama could be a top five team and still finish with three losses. Alabama is not going to have three losses. Alabama will be 10 and 2, 11 and 1. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. But that's just me. So, hey, that's my opinion. So, with these schedules and what this article talked about and what I talked about, hey, give me your opinion on what you think about the schedule, your team schedule. If you agree with agree with the article, agree with me, let me know. If you disagree with me and the article, let me know. Give me your thoughts. But in my opinion, I think the article hit it on the head. But I didn't see no reason to talk about Kentucky and Vandy and Mississippi State and, 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 and South Carolina for sure and Texas A&M. That's just me. But anyway, that's the video. And y'all remember, remember this if you don't remember nothing else. Be blessed. And I don't give a piss about nothing but the tide. And roll damn tide.